hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to basically we can view our json documents inside the browser using angular 14 application using a dependency called as ngx json viewer so this is basically the command by which you can install this dependency you can see it is very popular dependency 48000 weekly downloads are there this is a simple command here let me show you basically if you run this application you will see basically this will be syntax highlighting here this is basically containing some random json data out there which contain these four country names which is an array here array of objects so basically this supports syntax highlighting if you want to view your json documents inside the browser you can view it and basically it shows you the actual data which is stored here you can see we are storing the array here so if you just uh, see you will see the data as well as the type of data that it is storing here it's a very handy extension you will see we are storing this array basically this is an object here address which contains these values you will see that if it is an array this will say it's an array if it is an object it will say it's object so we are using this package which is ngx json view I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website. The link is given in the description of the video. You can read this blog post alongside with watching this video. So the very first thing you need to do, you need to go to your command line and simply install this package, which is ngx json viewer. I have already installed this package, so I will start this Angular application ng serve. And now we just need to basically the very first step is to go to your app dot module dot ts file. And here, you just need to import this ngx json viewer module. If you just import this, and then basically inside your imports array, you just need to import this json ngx json viewer module. That's all. Simply close this, and now you just need to basically define your data. And uh, let me delete this. And here basically this is the directive ngx json viewer. This is basically the directive here. And here you just need to provide the data, whichever data that you want to highlight here. So inside square brackets you will say data. And here let me say this data I need to have. And also it contains one other property which is depth. So this will be a numeric value. You will provide any value. Let's suppose I provide three. That's all. Now we need to define this JSON data that we are configuring here countries inside app.component.ts file. So right here we will define the JSON data. So this can be a very simple data. Let's suppose you will see. This is basically a JSON data and uh, now if you see here can't bind to data since it is not a known property of I think if you check the documentation uh, it mean the blog post here Okay this is JSON not this needs to be JSON here so just change this Just need to refresh here you will see that now you can see guys basically this is your json data here this can be anything here let's suppose uh, i this can be an array as well you can say here this is array here you will see that you will see 0 1 2 and you can go to a website uh, fake rest api to generate some uh, random json data here let me try this here yes this is you can see this is uh, some data json data that we need to highlight here i can simply copy this and paste it here So this is basically the data and now if I refresh you will see that it is successfully highlighting these uh, 
100 object skies each object containing four properties you will see that it's an array of objects this is one object here and if you see we have user id property id title you can even do nesting as well title body you will see that this is a very good uh, dependency guys definitely try out if you want to highlight your json code inside your angular applications there are many a times if you need this various converters are also there inside the internet which allows you to do this process but this makes it very much easy syntax highlighting is also pretty good you will see you also get nice little colors with the, this has the blue color string has a orange color something like that so if you provide a uh, let's suppose countries property here and one you will see that so you can even embed some nested as well any sort of customization you can do here this is by which you can build out a simple json editor guys to view your json documents inside browser inside angular application all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much